Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Fusion Industry Association channel. My name is Abdus, I'm a PhD candidate at Imperial College London, researching atom scale modelling of fusion materials. And I'm here with your latest fusion roundup. Today is Wednesday the 12th of November, and our stories include 1. Germany announces a major national investment plan for fusion energy. 2. A US think tank calls for a $10 billion government push to maintain American leadership in fusion. 3. Japan moves closer to commercial fusion with a successful new test. Four, why the AI industry is betting on a fusion energy breakthrough. And as always, I'll have some bonus stories at the end. One, Germany announces major national investment plan for fusion energy. According to Oil Price and Deutsche Welle, uh, Germany has launched a 1.7 billion euro action plan for fusion energy, announced by Chancellor Friedrich Merz. The goal is to make Germany the first country to build and operate a commercial scale fusion power facility. The investment will expand support for the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics, home to the Wendelstein 7 Accelerator, and fund new partnerships with private fusion firms. The government also plans to streamline licensing for new experimental sites and demonstration systems. Energy Minister Thomas Bereis said fusion represents a long term pillar of Germany's clean energy independence. This is one of Europe's largest national commitments so far and shows how fusion is moving from research into industrial development. Two, a US think tank calls for a $10 billion government push to maintain American leadership in fusion. A report by the Special Competitive Studies Project warns that the United States risks falling behind China in the race for leadership in fusion energy. The report, titled Fusion Forward, Powering America's Future, says that China has invested more than $6.5 billion since 2023, almost three times the funding provided to the US Department of Energy's program over the same period. It calls for the US government to launch what it describes as a legacy-defining national goal and invest $10 billion in demonstration plants, regulation reform and supply chains. The report argues that the nation which leads fusion will gain major economic and strategic advances. Fusion Industry Association CEO Andrew Holland said, This report underlines that fusion is no longer just science, it's strategy. The findings have added weight to calls for stronger federal action on fusion development. 3. Japan moves closer to commercial fusion with a successful new test. FIA member Helical Fusion, based in Japan, has completed a major test of a high-temperature superconducting coil designed for its future fusion device. The coil maintained a stable 40 kiloamp current under a 7 tesla magnetic field, replicating the conditions expected in advanced fusion systems. Helical Fusion's roadmap involves three stages. Developing enabling technologies such as superconducting magnets, building a demonstration machine called Helix Haruka, and later constructing a pylon plant known as Helix Kanata. The company has received around 2 billion yen, or about $13 million, in government support through Japan's SBIR Phase 3 program and is collaborating with the National Institute for Fusion Science. Founder and CEO Takai Taguchi has said, This test confirms the stability and strength of our magnet system, a crucial step towards delivering clean fusion power. 4. Why the AI industry is betting on a fusion energy breakthrough. Time magazine reports that investment in private fusion companies has risen from $1.7 billion in 2020 to $15 billion by September 2025. One of the main reasons is the energy demand created by artificial intelligence. The article highlights several FIA members. Helion is described as being on the fastest schedule, aiming to deliver electricity by 2028 from its site in Washington state and having signed a deal to supply 50 megawatts of power to Microsoft. Commonwealth Fusion Systems expects to achieve scientific break-even by 2027 and has an agreement to provide 200 megawatts to Google. Pacific Fusion, backed by major technology investors, launched in 2024 after raising $900 million. OpenStart Technologies, also an FIA member, is developing a novel magnet geometry for compact fusion systems. The article also notes that artificial intelligence is helping scientists advance fusion research. MIT physicist Nuno Lurero said, AI has made some of the hardest problems in plasma physics more accessible. 
Industry leaders such as Sam Altman and NVIDIA's Jensen Huang have called energy the key bottleneck, showing how technology and investment are now aligning towards fusion. Time for our bonus stories. Japan's new prime minister makes fusion a national priority. Japan's new prime minister has listed fusion among 17 strategic sectors for national investment. In her speech to the Diet, she described fusion as central to Japan's innovation and clean energy strategy. Artificial intelligence enabled Fusion Digital Twin. NVIDIA and General Atomics have built an interactive AI-driven digital twin of the D3D Fusion device. The system allows researchers to model plasma behavior in real time and improve the design of future fusion facilities. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and check out our Fusion News Extra podcast for deeper discussions on the stories shaping the future of fusion energy. That's your Fusion News for the 12th of November 2025. I'm Abdus. Thanks for watching.